Welcome back to Eli Live. Jazakallah so much for joining us. Now, Home Affairs Minister Dr. Arun Mutsoledi has extended the Zimbabwean exemption permits for another six months. According to the minister, the validity of the ZEP will extend from the 30th of June to the 31st of December this year. Joining us now is legal researcher from the Helen Susman Foundation, Tivashni Naidu. Tivashni, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, Faraz, and thank you for having me. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Tivashni, just your initial reaction to the announcement from the minister this morning? Of course, for the foundation, and I'm sure for ZDP holders alike, that this decision is extremely welcome. Um, prior to this, while we're still awaiting judgment from the actual case, the previous extension only went as far as the end of this month, which of course is in a really few days. Um, and so we have, you know, 178,000 people uh, really counting down the days until they either mm. are forced to leave the country um, and all they've known for well over a, dec a decade, their jobs, schools, children, etc., or potentially become illegal migrants. Um, and the anxiety of that, I cannot imagine. So, of course, this is a very welcome decision from yeah, the minister. Yeah, Divash, you're talking about that court case. Uh, I mean, it keeps on dragging and dragging. I mean, it's frustrating, isn't it? Especially for many of uh, uh, the Zimbabwean experts who actually just want to have a sense of relief and a sense of, you know, uh, wanting to work in peace. And, you know, this, this, this court case keeps on dragging and dragging. There's, there's a sense of frustration, isn't there? Yes, of course there is, because the case was initially meant to be heard last year around the end of the year of about October, I believe, and then it was pushed back to April, but that is through no fault, uh, to be sure, of the minister um, or the court. Um, and once the case was heard, we're now still awaiting judgment. The case was heard at the beginning of April, um, and so it's actually a very short time since the case was heard, and I'm sure the courts are working furiously to get the judgment out. Uh, but you make a really good point, right, that people are becoming frustrated with the waiting. And it's important to note that even if we were to get um, judgment immediately, that would be a sigh of relief, right, despite the fact that it's been extended until the end of the year. What we really need is a medium to long term solution. And this extension that has been granted until the end of the year is just a very immediate short term solution. I was going to ask about that because it is a medium solution for now. Uh, what happens if come the 31st of December and the Home Affairs Department says, OK, we're going to extend it till the end of June. I mean, is this something that's going to again frustrate many Zimbabwean experts that we have a six month by six month extension period? Yes, again, I can only imagine that it is incredibly anxiety inducing, right, to live your life on a six month trial basis. I think anybody can relate to that. But of course, it is up to the minister's discretion how he regulates the process and also dependent on any decision we get from a judgment and what that prescribes. Um, of course, one of the reasons the minister lists for this current extension is the huge, huge administrative burden of regularizing 178,000 people um, and he just needs more time to do that. So it may in fact be the case that even theoretically, if we didn't get judgment, um, or we do get judgment either way, um, the minister will still find that the process of regularizing ZDP holders may take him well into next year. One final question, uh, Divashni. Um, what is the Helen Susman Foundation's uh, next plan now in order to try and expedite that court case and bring some sort of finality to many Zimbabweans here in South Africa who want to work and earn that living? Well, we must respect court processes and as much as, you know, we really all are direly and desperately waiting a court decision, we cannot also rush the court process because we really want them to take their due consideration and apply their minds fully to the matter at hand. It is a complex matter. There were a number of parties um, in this case. There were actually multiple cases. And so, you know, we want the court to take its time. We respect that process, which is why, in fact, we brought the case in the first place. Um, we cannot do anything legally to expedite the process. Uh, we are simply awaiting the decision, but we are cognizant of the fact that um, high court judgments don't take, you know, extremely long amounts of time. So it's likely that we could receive a judgment any day or quite soon. 
Um, we don't anticipate that, for example, we'll hear a judgment back only at the end of the year again, right? Um, and I think that that's a good thing. This extension just gives us some breathing room until we get that judgment. Tivashni Naidu, Legal Research at the Helen Suzman Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Have a good evening. You have a good evening also. It's now time for your news.